middle of nowhere, guys. Snow, 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 snow. Snow everywhere, snow everywhere, snow everywhere. Yeah, guys, 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 this is Informant 254. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I talk about life abroad and opportunities. It's winter in Germany, but we are going with it. We are going with the vibe, only positive vibe. Yo, 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 what's up, my people? Los gets, guys. Snow everywhere, snow everywhere, snow everywhere. Guys, this is Informant 254. Your one stop for opportunities and life abroad, guys. Today I'm gonna go to, straight to the point because it's too cold, guys. Today we're gonna talk about something really, really important, guys. Yeah? Today we are going outside Germany, guys. We're gonna be outside this country. Today I'm gonna talk about vocational training in Finland, guys. You know? Guys, as you people know, I've been talking about vocational training in different countries and today we are going to Finland guys today we are going to Finland what's 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 good about Finland huh? you know guys um, you know Finland is not just a normal country guys yeah Finland is not a normal country yeah guys are passing distracted me okay so guys let's let's get the point huh? what's important about Finland um, according to statistics <laughs> Finland is the happiest country in the world. Yeah. I think it's may, it may be the happiest, I don't know. I'm also happy where I am. I don't know how they categorize that, but it's okay. Finland is the happiest, categorized under the happiest country in the world. Eh? And uh, something good about Finland, it has a really good education system. Guys, really good education system you know when you talk of education system you talk of countries like singapore you know like uh, finland you know german too and other countries you know they have a good education system um i believe if you move to finland you live longer they have a really high life expectancy rate of 82 years that's high yeah that's really high it means they have good medical care they have good policies you know take care of their own so um yeah it's a good thing about finland and um, yeah as we go on you have to understand that finland also has um yeah well studying in finland is actually free guys if you finish your mother tongue studying is free studying doing all those vocational training vocational colleges it's free you know so guys that's also something important about finland Finland is also in the EU, so you, if you find yourself in Finland, you can travel to, yeah, if you want to come to visit Germany, to visit uh, France, you know, Austria, Luxembourg, it's easy for you. So fin Finland is, a, is actually a good country. It's a pretty good country, you know, among, among the top countries in the world, you know, peaceful too. And also something about the Finnish passport. The Finnish passport is a good one, a very strong one ranked among the best in the world you know so what's that about Finland that you won't like guys you know so today guys we're gonna talk about Finland <laughs> so guys welcome to my youtube channel I go by informant 254 guys you can check me out on youtube you can check me out on tiktok and I talk about life abroad and opportunities yeah let's get to this thing let's put it down and you know let's see you know those people interested in moving to Finland this is for you Finland is actually just like German, it's just like other countries, you know, the system is just the, almost the same and maybe even better. Yeah, yeah, los get! Yeah, my people, you know, in Finland, you also have to understand it's also cheaper than many other countries like Australia, Canada, USA, you know, study in Finland. Actually, it's cheaper, you know, because the, the education system is free, first of all. When I talk of cheaper, I mean of the living standards, like, for example, uh, the amount of money you need per month for your apartments, for your insurance, for your traveling expenses, and for your food, you know. So Finland is uh, not just uh, a, a, the, the country with the happiest people, with so many smileys, but it's also a country that you can say, ah, I can afford. You get it? So, uh, and uh, you know, with its neighbors like Sweden, you know, it's, it's a nice country, you know, it belongs to the Schengen visa. So it's not a problem to travel all over Europe when you have the the Finnish, uh, if you're working in Finland or if you have uh, a visa to work in Finland or a permanent residence. You know? Something else about Finland that people need to know is that um, 
Uh, Finland is actually a very good country, social country too. Yeah, for example, if you manage to get a job in Finland uh, from a non-European country or any other European country, okay, non-European, of course, cause you you be allowed to move in with your family. They are really, really family friendly. Uh, Finland is is a nice country. You know, what can go wrong if they, they, they some of their politicians just go to work on bicycles? You know, you just see ah. That's the Prime Minister passing on your bike. Oh, hi, Mr. Prime Minister. You know, so Finland is that, that nice, you know, according to everybody, according to out there, according to social media. According, uh, and also, I've met people from Finland here. They are, they are quiet, they are, they are quiet, friendly people. Actually, they're actually friendly people. Yeah? <laughs> the, the Finnish people are actually friendly people, you know. So, guys, um, as I campaign for people to also just don't look at German because... Vocational training was really strongly insisted in German because Germans have been taking people. Let me tell you something. This vocational training is like, tra all those people know about vocational training. You train and you study, right? After training, after your studies, you are employed, right? What is the main agenda of these European countries with this vocational training thing? Guys, there's only one target. Because there's no difference between you coming from Africa and working here and somebody here working. It's the same thing. Both of you are paying taxes. You know, the main aim for these countries and the, this emphasis on, um, on vocational training is because of taxes, guys. Yeah. If you have a million immigrants, you know, the way Germans immigrants came here and uh, they were accepted during the Angela Merkel's uh, chancellor, uh, little chancellor in Angela Merkel's time, they allowed uh, foreigners to come from Syria, from war-torn war areas, Iraq. Those guys came here and because they needed money, they went into employment. They've been paying taxes like crazy. You imagine taxes for a million immigrants. And in German, you can't avoid taxes. <laughs> you better avoid even eating, but don't avoid taxes. They get you, my friend. <laughs> that you're working black, I don't, know, I don't know, you're working without paying taxes. You are messed up. The amount of uh, you know, punishment they'll give you to pay, you'll work for so many years. It's not like traveling, traveling in the train. Without a ticket, no. Taxes, you have to pay taxes. If you just want to be peaceful, nobody to disturb you, always pay your taxes. So the aim of this vocational training, as I, I am campaigning for, for the, how do you call it, for the Finland. Finland has also a vocational uh, training, like Germany. And um, there's a catch, you know. The only catch is you need to know the language, you know. Somebody told me in uh, 20-something years ago, ah, Isaac, just study, uh, just study the, the language. And I was like, uh, uh, you know, my dream was to go to the United States of America, you know, and to go to New York, and to go watch the Rockets play against the Lakers, you know. Some dreams, you know. And uh, I was like, uh, U.S. is everything, you know. The United States of America was everything. I wanted to go to the United States of America. That was my dream. But now... Ich weiß es nicht mehr. Ich spreche auch eine andere Sprache. Und ich bin in Deutschland. Guck mal, wie kalt es ist. I just said I'm in another country. I speak another, a different language. I'm in the middle of nowhere and it's really cold. Yeah. So, you never know where the wind blows. Yeah. The wind blew and I found myself, boom. I'm in Germany. Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Ich arbeite hier, ich lebe hier mit meiner Familie. Yeah. Ich habe Kinder. I'm a frau, I have a job, I have just my rent. Guys, that's how it is, man. I found myself here, I have a family, I have kids. I'm now checking how much I'll be getting uh, during my retirement. It means I'm done. So guys, uh, my main point is that um, we're going to talk about uh, opportunities in Finland. And uh, basically, I'm going to insist on vocational training. And the good thing about Finland, I've realized, is that vocational trainings are done even in the university. You know, in Germany, university is a totally different thing, and vocational training is a different thing. Volunteers and vocational training is totally a different thing. University is completely different. But in Finland, universities offer vocational training, you know, and believe me, it's almost like Germany, just a little bit different. Let's talk about vocational training. Let's talk about what you need, the requirements, uh, you know, the qualifications, and uh, yeah, let's get this thing done in the most, the country with the happiest people in the world, Finland. Finland opens its doors for vocational training for foreigners. Go for it. If you're listening to this information, don't waste time. 
if you have the resources to study the Finnish language, don't waste time. Okay? Because time is money. And the problem in Europe, time cuts off your opportunity because age matters. You know, let nobody tell you age is just a number. No, no, no. In Europe, age matters. Age is not a number. Age will cut you off from an opportunity. You know, age will cut you off from that financial freedom. Okay? So, take me seriously. This is in my form. And 254, this is really, really serious because some people didn't take it seriously 20 something years ago when our uncle, Professor Saul, said, Guys, go in for the German language, the opportunities. And now it's too late. It's too late, you know. It's too late for them, but it's too early for the new generation. You know, that's why I'm talking of age. If you're young, this is your time. Go for it. Not, don't let anybody discourage you. Be focused. Be straight. You get it? Be smart, you know. Or just act smart. It doesn't matter. Be smart or act smart, yeah. Just go into the requirements of, you know, going to Sweden, to, to Finland. Oh my God. Wow, wow, wow. Snow everywhere, guys. Requirements of vocational training in Finland, guys. Guys, as I said, Finland is a really nice country. And um, let's go to the requirements of you going to vocational training. Believe me, in Finland, vocational training is also done at the university level. Um, there are courses which are like done at the university. You know, there's so many, so many courses that are, can be taken into. Uh, you can take you can be taken as vocational training and let me just go into the requirement first of all you have to understand Finland people speak Finnish okay so you need the language Ex exceptional there are some exceptionals you know but you need a1 a2 and b2 those are the language requirements of you studying in doing vocational training in Finland Something else you need to have finished high school, you know, just like Germans. They want you to have finished at least basic education. You have to have done the basic education, yeah. Something else I'll add on is just you need to have a clean record, especially if you're coming from non-European countries. You know, you need just to prove you're not uh, into, a, into criminality or you're not into yeah, some funny stuff. You need just to prove that you're, you're what, you know. That's it. Then you apply. You know, um, I think you need to be over 18 years and, and above because you are traveling. You need to have a, um, you know, you need to be a responsible person. You need to have a passport, of course. Those are things that I even I don't need to say as a requirement, but you need a passport as a requirement to travel from, if you're traveling from a different country, a European country, to Finland. Please don't forget that you need a passport. And... Um, yeah, you also need m money. Studying in, uh, doing vocational training in Finland is free, guys. It's free. But you need money for upkeep, you know. Upkeep money, you need upkeep money. Upkeep money is needed even in Germany. If it's like uh, going to university in Finland, but then you need the upkeep money. And that upkeep money is going to cover your accommodation. It's going to cover your insurance. It's going to cover your uh, uh, traveling expenses, you know. And also it's going to cover, partly if you're doing vocational training, they don't buy you books, they don't buy you clothing, because if, for example, you're doing welding, construction and stuff, shoes and clothes for, for, for work are really important. For those people who know about work safety, I do have a lot about work safety. Um, then you need to, to buy your own and support yourself when, you, when it comes to studying materials, you know. 
um, the courses are free, but material for, you know, sometimes you need to buy some stuff for your studies. You need to buy it on your own uh, because the, 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 the university and the colleges don't buy for you that stuff. Eh? Uh, those are, that's something really important. So how, do you, how much do you need something important? How much do you need to, for you to like, uh, let me say, um, per month, you know? It's actually 700 to 900 euros per month eh, for you to be able to uh, take care of yourself in, uh, in Finland. That's just for you, for your upkeep, you know, it means you have to have good breakfast, good lunch, good supper, you have to have money for movement because you cannot go there and you, they're not looking for beggars, they're looking for people who also can support themselves. And as I said, there is always an option. If you know somebody in Finland and you're from an European country, if somebody is working in Finland and they can write for you a letter of obligation, in Germany they call it uh, the Verpflichtungserklärung, that can be a good option for you. If somebody is, writes the letter of obligation that is going to support you to do your uh, vocational training, it's also something that can be can be positive for you and can help you to get the visa and the and the residence to go and do vocational training in Finland. You know, yeah. So that's some something really important about Finland and um, uh, yeah to know. The only issue with many vocational trainings in in Finland is that you need the language, just the same as in Germany. That's something that's not supposed to be a hindrance for people who are, who are interested in going to do vocational training in Finland. You know, let me tell you something about the language, yeah? Uh, if you can speak Agikuyu, Luo, Kale, you can speak uh, English, you can speak uh, Swahili, you can study any language. There are people who come to Germany and after three months, just one, two, three months, they're speaking almost the basic language, you know? The language has mistakes, of course, nobody is perfect, me too. I still learn a lot of new words every day. But then, uh, you need the basic language, and uh, the basic language is very easy. You know, just like moving around, asking, all that stuff. You know, the, the, the language level is A2 to B2 in, in, in Finland. Those are the levels that are needed for you to do vocational training. And um, uh, there are... Yeah, that's the only thing that cuts off people, you know, and that's the only thing that cut off people from me Between me and many of the other Kenyans who wanted to come to Germany You know that time when you are doing the language the German language in Kenya. It was just like uh, uh, Per semester semester takes three months. We were paying something like I think uh, 3,000 Kenya shillings that's 30 euros in 2000 and uh, 2002, 2003, the year 2002, the year 2003. But currently, for you to do the German language, if at all you ever get a place to in Gotha Institute, Nairobi, you'll need 50 something thousand. That's almost 500 euros for A1, 48,000 for A2, 48,000 for, uh, for B1, and 48,000 for B2. You know, something that I studied for only 20 euros, 30 euros. Nobody was interested in coming to study the German language. Nobody was interested in coming to Germany. What is the story behind this? In Finland, it's the same. People are not interested in studying the Finnish language. You know? So, who goes to the Finnish embassy? Guys, go study the Finnish language, start knocking those doors, go to Finland, start your lives, earn your money. That's what I'll say, you know? That's what I'll say. So, guys, the language should not be a barrier. The language should not be a reason for you to like not believe in going to Finland. So I'll insist, I'll insist that if you have a Finnish school around your area, if you've just finished high school and uh, you want to do, do, do computer, then join, do a language course. Go for Finnish, do Finnish language, you know, you might just re realize that the Finnish language is compatible with your mother tongue. Just the way German is compatible to Kibukusu. <laughs> to the Luya language, guys. German is compatible to my Luya language. So that's why I'm saying that uh, people who are planning to go to Finland, please go and study the Finnish language, register with the Finnish uh, language school, um, and before everybody goes in to, for Finnish, 
there are opportunities in Finland, just the way there are opportunities in Estonia, there are opportunities in Germany, vocational opportunities. And uh, in countries like, uh, like Austria and, you know, Estonia, Austria, Luxembourg, you know, but you need the language. So people, currently the German, embassy, the German uh, language school in Nairobi is jammed. Even getting a place to study the language in German, in Gotha Institute, you need to go very early on the first day, very early when they open the offices, otherwise you will not get a slot. It doesn't matter, morning, afternoon, night, intensive, Saturday, Sunday, you won't get a place. Because people are going into for this German language and they are coming to Austria, they are coming to Germany, they are making their careers and living their lives. You know, these are not thieves, these are people just trying to make lives, their lives. And you know, remember I always say, home is just eight hours away. Right? If you if you dare me that you want to reach Nairobi before me, I can say we start and I'll be in Nairobi before you. Because you'll be in a traffic jam, you'll be somewhere eating in Nakuru, and for me I'll just take a direct flight. Seven and a half hours, eight hours I'll be landing. I'll be in Jabba waiting for you. So guys, home is not far. We're just home away from home. It's just a few hours, yeah? So guys, Finland is opened its doors. It has opened its doors. Let me not be so serious. This is something really nice. And vocational training in Finland is something that I'm going to research more. And also, uh, there are three universities currently, I put them down here, that uh, some of the universities offer English programs, you know. If you want to go do, like, there's one which is uh, offering something to do with welding and, and uh, mechanical. It's also a college, it's a university actually, but uh, they offer this vocational training in welding and building and construction, you know, engineering, and it's in English, you know. So guys, I'll be putting links down here for these universities, uh, three universities, so that you people can check them. You know, the links are in English, so don't tell me that uh, it's in, in Finnish. No, it's not in Finnish. It's in English. You can read, you can decide, you can see if something for you is there, if something is, something good is for you, something good is, something good is there for you, and uh, you hope in, you know. Remember that uh, in Finland, you know, you, if you manage to come to Finland, study or do vocational training, be employed, just know that uh, the Finnish government will give you a permanent residence in like four, after four years you'll have the permanent residence, you know, can even apply for the Finnish passport if you want. Yeah, so guys, Finland is a very friendly country, gender, gender friendly too, the happiest people in, fin in, in this world come from Finland. If you want to take it to the bank, that's how it is, guys. You just land at the airport, everybody's smiling. You go to the supermarket, everybody's smiling. You go to the shopping malls, you go to the hostels, you look for housing, everybody's just smiling and welcoming you. Come, come to Finland, come, come to Finland, come. Yeah. So Finland, go there with a good heart if you have managed to go to Finland. Don't bring your sadness to Finnish people, okay? Don't bring your sadness to Finnish people. Uh, let Finland be, remain the happiest country in the whole world, guys. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, let's see um, about the visa. Yeah, let's see. That's the procedure about the visa application, guys. Before I jump into those, yeah, the the the, the Finnish government offers you know vocational degrees, you know, in um, in undergraduate and postgraduate. You know, I just wanted to pass that out. So that you know you're also getting a degree even if you're doing vocational training you're gonna get a degree so that's something that i want to just to pass i almost skipped it um vocational training is uh, is uh, not just meant for you know but they offer a lot of stuff including um you know they offer things like uh, basic skills in language they offer social work there's um, there's entrepreneurship there's mathematics physics so it's not something that is uh, out of uh, people's leagues. These are things that we know, people have studied and they've passed. So vocational colleges offer vocational degrees, yeah? So that somebody doesn't say, ah, I'm just going for vocational training. No, they offer vocational degrees. These are degrees, you know? Things that you can work with, things that can help you get into employment, you know? And remember the world is going into the vocational direction. Because uh, people want to to do to study something that they can do not just study something that is theory you know when i mean theory i mean is like um, when you're studying you study something that can help you in life you know yeah, there's so many things i studied that i don't apply right now i don't regret it because i was in a system 
but I wish I would have concentrated on what I love, you know, and put all my energy in what I love. Yeah, that's why vocational training is something that's really serious in this country. You know, vocational training is like you can be a, you go into vocational training in mechanics, in nursing, you know, in building and construction, you know, in carpentry, in welding, all those vocational training. That and then, you know, if you know how to weld as a, as a professional, you can weld under the water. You know, there are people who weld under water. You know, there are people who weld to make cars, ships, aeroplanes. You know, welding is not just you know, for, for, for anybody, you know, you train and with, the, with that passion, you know, you can go to the next level, you know. So vocational training is something that has been insisted on and it's something that also in my country, you know, the education system is going towards the vocational training so that people can, can learn and then later on practice what they've learned to, to earn a living. Yeah, I don't need to, extend, to explain it further, but that's how vocational training works, yeah. And... Um, Finland is offering vocational degrees for undergraduate, postgraduate, in, you know, in all those things that I've just talked about. And um, in the websites that I'll be putting down here, the links, which are in English, so let nobody complain. You know, if you have issues to ask, you need to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. Please um, uh, just go to TikTok. You'll find me at Informant254. We can chat. I can tell you anything you want, uh, what you need to hear, what you need to know anything that uh, if you have any question just go to to tiktok and uh, i'll be here i'll be here to answer all the questions that you need or just write on the comment section i can also reply it's not a big deal how come nobody's seated here for yeah so that's about vocational training and uh, yeah let's get this thing to the next level guys yeah vocational training in finland guys let's take it up los gets so my people, I hope I touch somebody or two or three. Vocational training in Finland. Finland opens its doors. Move to Finland with family. There are so many opportunities in Finland, including if you can apply for a job. You know, the minimum wage is around, um, I think, 1,350 euros. So, if you happen to bump into a Finnish agent, a work agent who offers jobs, professional jobs especially, you know, you know, and if you're going to do vocational training, there's so many things in vocational training, including cooking, you know, things like cooking, are, are, uh, to be a cook, it's a very, very painting, all these things, they are vocational training, yeah? welding, building and construction, you know, social work, you know, if you go to the the hospitality part of nursing and everything, all those things are being offered in, in, in Finland too. So guys, don't, don't hesitate to go into the websites that I'll be putting down here. And something else, do your own research too. Just check out, check out about Finland. Check out what it offers. There's something I might have left out. Yeah, but remember, for you to go to a foreign country, always for you to have a friendly conversation with your visa interview, interviewers, have the language. You know, there are English programs, but you need a visa to go to Finland. So always just show an effort, show an effort about, you know, um, show an effort about learning a language in, in, in which you'll be using in that country. Because not everybody speaks English. So you can imagine you're in Finland and um, uh, you, 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 you can't communicate, you know. Even if you get uh, an English program, it's always good to know. But going to going going for the language, you know, going for the language. I know some so many Germans who wanted to go and uh, work in China, and they studied the Chinese language too. Engineers, you know, in different engineering uh, engineering um, uh, courses, you know. Yeah. So that's why I'm insisting the language is something that you need to like uh, take into consideration if you're going to. If you're planning to also go to Finland or to any foreign country that has a foreign language, always study their language because people are friendly if you know the language. You know, you have a better opportunity. They see that you've integrated in a, at a better level if you speak their language or if you also make an effort of speaking their language the correct way. And that applies also across the board. It applies in Germany, applies in Sweden, applies in Austria, applies in France. 
you know, if you're in their country and you can't speak their language, they feel like um, you're using them. And if you're benefiting from the social system, they, they, are, they are pained. They feel the pain. So always go in for the language. It doesn't matter. Study the language for three months, you know, two hours a day. It will, you'll not die, you know. And that will help you when you're going to apply for your visa because the visa, the visa um, uh, officer, yeah, the immigration office will see, okay, you made an effort, you know. And if you made an effort to an extent that you really actually got to get certification, it's even better, you know, because with certification, paperwork talks. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, paperwork talks. You put your documents there, you're above everybody. You know, that's why I'm insisting right now for the people who are going to listen to me, you know, so many people listen to me and so many people are subscribed to my channel. I'm really happy for, for, for that you like my content and I'm grateful. And just want to insist that for you to go to a foreign country, always learn their language. You don't need to be perfect, no. Even myself, I'm not perfect in German, but I know the basic. So with the basic you can live, you know. With the basic language you can live, English, German, French, you know, Italian, doesn't matter. Always get to know the language, get to interact with the people. And you'll find, even, you'll find it even easier if you know the language to, to integrate, get a job, get housing, you know, movement. You know, you won't get lost every time. You know, it will be easy for you to, to fit in the community, which is a foreign community to you. You'll have less with the cultural shock, you know. You'll fit into festivals and everything. So that's why it's important to go for the language, and the language is not a joke, you know. Finland has put its feet down. For those who want to come to Finland, go for the language. Go for the language and don't, say, don't hesitate. If you have a language school around your place, it's something that you can work with. It's something that you can uh, like um, yeah, use for you to change a career direction. And um, yeah, just to <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just move, 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 move. Don't stop. Move. Always move. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. We're talking about movement, yeah? So guys, that's about Finland. Let's see, let's see if there's anything else. If there's nothing else, we close this up. Keeping fit. So guys, it's a real deep winter. Let's get! Hey guys, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, write a small comment, comment, and um, uh, yeah. So guys, as we finish today's video, I just want to remind you guys that I'll be putting three university links. Uh, the University of Bamia, the University of Rabiria, and uh, Seki University or something uh, and so that uh, you guys can check them out they're in English check if there's something for you if something if you are going into if you want to go into one of the vocational trainings uh, in these uh, universities uh, remember the documentation will be a degree and yeah you have a high high chance of getting employed because you know 
this vocational training means you'll be working also with uh, working and studying you know practical work and stuff into you know if you're in construction you're engineering all that stuff it is some it is something that is really really going to be nice yeah and um yeah so guys thank you thank you so much for almost a thousand subscribers uh don't take it for granted it's a cold sunday winter sunday in germany we are in december guys and uh yeah we are grateful for the year yeah so guys if you have a chance to take this opportunity don't hesitate um don't like uh, wait just go for it it is um hi hi <laughs> yeah Ooh. it's really deep just go down yeah i was just saying that the opportunities are there and a little bit of effort is needed especially when it comes to the language part finland is you know has opened its opportunity but it also wants people to also put in a bit of an effort to learn their language and um, so that when you're applying you don't have issues with immigration and also it helps you with the easy integration you know the integration with these people you know we can imagine the people who don't speak any other language in Finland and you're walking around just speaking your kibukusu and English it's not good so it's always good to interact with the people in Finland in their own native language yeah so guys um, that's it for today I want just to thank you guys for coming and watching my YouTube channel and my content and I hope this information reaches somebody please if you know somebody who can um, afford the Finnish language please pass this information to them give them the websites that I'll be putting down here send them the links and yeah let's get people employed let's get let's get people moving you know let's not be stagnant let's get people moving the world is a small global village as I said in all my videos the world is a what a small global village yeah this is Informant 254 signing out from Stuttgart, Germany, wishing you all the best this Sunday. And you get as you get into the new week, please get, get into the new week with energy, a lot of energy, you know. Always about positive vibes. Remember, if you can eat and feel the taste of food and you're healthy, that's what really matters in life, being healthy. This channel is about creating employment, helping people move out and about love. It's real winter, guys. Minus eight degrees. <laughs> hey, winter is here. Yeah, the kids are woken up. People have woken up. Hear the church bells. You hear the church bells. Meeting a lot of people, kind of jogging. <laughs> a 
walking their dogs. Those bells have been ringing for centuries. They are church bells. There's a small river down here. But there's a church bell the other side. Maybe you guys can see it, it's so far. There's a church there, native church. Christian. And guys, those fields, those fields are for farmers. See how Africa is blessed. They can farm the whole year. These guys can't farm right now. They can only get out for walks, get fresh air, and go back home. Hey! <laughs> The winter walk. People get out to get some fresh air, play a bit with the snow. And then just go back home. Can't stay out for long. But some people do it with a lot of um, warm clothing. So guys, I hope I impact somebody with that vocational training in Finland. Yeah, the houses are covered with snow. <laughs> the heating system has to work, otherwise you can freeze to death. You know? Otherwise you can freeze to death. So my people, for those few words, I want to wish you a lovely Sunday and thank you so much for watching this video about vocational training in Finland and it might not be about you but it might be about somebody else. Just pass the information, share it out, you know. This is Informant254 signing out on a lovely Sunday. Wish you all the best and be blessed.